Yeah, this is Craig. This is my first video from YouTube. Maybe. See how it turns out. Just received my package from Hutzel, Formatech, MS-070, and possibly some other parts that I ordered in there. I'm not really sure what's in this box. As you can see, it actually is a pretty decent shape. Especially considering it took three weeks to get here. It set in security check over across the big pond for a little more than a week. I don't know what the holdup was. I've ordered several things from this company and this is the longest package I've ever had to wait for. So we're going to open her up now. As you can see, it is a box inside of a box. So we'll open the inside box up. Got some packaging styrofoam there that's kind of busted up. Looks like it's got plenty of bubble wrap in it. Bring that over here. The saw is actually upside down in the box. And as you can tell, I actually opened the top of the box. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or, or what's going on there. That box is upside down inside of it. Yeah, nope, the inside box is right side up with the outside box. I'll bring that over here. There is some, I don't know if this is just boxes they throw in there, but this is probably some other parts that I've ordered. Um, so a little bit of damage inside there, not much it doesn't look like. Well, so now I'm going to bring the, the main attraction out. I think it's huge. I'll set it down here. Looks like it's had a little bit of oil in it. There's just a slight film of oil on the inside of this bag, right around where the oil there was. The oil tank, and you actually see some right there on the cap. I don't know if they've had this together and maybe tested it. I'm missing a cap off of the fuel tank. Everything else, from what I see, seems to be in pretty decent shape. Quite a bit of compression. Now let's see what else we got in here. Uh, there is the tank for the or the cap for the fuel tank. Uh, looks like we've got the little wire piece right here also. For some reason, it looks like they've just throwed it in there instead of assembling. Won't be no big deal. I'll just put it in right now. other stuff make sure there's nothing else in that bubble wrap doesn't appear to be more bubble wrap looks like it was packaged decent 
I wouldn't say it was absolutely terrific, but um, it's not bad. Here's the. This would be the parts kit for the saw itself. The scrunch. Couple Allen wrenches, small screwdriver, and an 8 and a 10 millimeter double open ended wrench. Give me a little container here on for the fuel mix. One side for the oil, other side for the gasoline. Uh, does not say what the mixing ratio is that I see, but I know I'm going to run that saw at 32 to 1. That's what I run all my stuff at. And this here is just some other parts that I've ordered for a Husqvarna 55 rebuild that I'm in the process of doing. This here is the dog spike. I had a little glitch there with the camera. This here is the dog spike for the MS-070. This is actually wrapped up really good compared to what I've seen so far. Again, that's, that's a double falling spike with the mounting hardware. And that will go with the MS-070. This here is just the gasket set for the or for the 55 Husqvarna. I got a it's a Farmer Tech 46 millimeter cylinder kit for the 50 Husqvarna 55. Actually, what I see right here, first glance, first view, actually looks really good. Once I get it opened up and look at it better, I'll comment a little bit more on it. This box here is the box that was broken open inside. And I would say that was probably the box that was for the crankshaft for the 55. What I see right there, that actually looks like that's a pretty decent little crankshaft. Again, I'll investigate it, check it out a little bit further later. And there's the owner's manual for the MSO 70. And they give me a little business card. These are two. These are two of their 18 inch bars, sprocket nose tip bars. actually pretty heavy I don't know how good they're gonna be I'm gonna try them out and find just to see how much they, they last how good they last that's everything out of the box along with the two bars I did get a couple chains and it looks like they're both in there and this is just an array of different parts for the 55 build that I'm doing. This is for a Briggs and Stratton lawnmower that I needed to coil for. I bought a couple extra sets of seals for the 51, 55. Some fuel filters, bearings for the 51, 55. Uh, oddly enough, these are both metal cage bearings. I don't know. If they was bought in America, if one, if the PTO side to be a nylon cage bearing or not, but these are both metal caged. There's the other chain. There's some isolation rubbers for the 55. Fuel line for the 55. Uh, intake boot for the 55. And these are gas and oil caps for the 55. 
that pretty much takes care